All right, just listen to your inspiring Clavin rebuttal. It's a show I did a few days ago uh, where I, you know, went after Clavin's critique of Ayn Rand. It made me quite dubious about modern conservatives. Absolutely. With that said, what do you think of the older generation of conservatives, specifically one of my heroes, Milton Friedman? So I don't think Milton Friedman was a conservative. I think he was more of a small L libertarian. I don't think he considered himself a conservative. I, I can't think of many good conservatives. I, you know, Buckley was awful. Um, uh, Irving Kristol, uh, two cheers for capitalism, not three, only two. Uh, you could go on and on and on about the conservatives and how bad they were. And now they're even worse. They're getting worse over time. But they've always been bad. I mean, Ayn Rand criticized the conservatives in the late 1960s. They were already awful then. Now, as for Milton Friedman, I mean, I have a mixed view of Milton Friedman. Overall, I think he did a lot of good. Um, I, I think he's a great communicator. I think he manages to communicate economic issues succinctly, uh, powerfully, with great reason, great examples, and, and passion. And passion. He's a great speaker. But... He also did a lot of damage to the cause by not grounding his economics in a moral foundation, which he could have had because Ayn Rand was right there. I, I think he, you know, he uh, retarded the cause by decades. And, and this is, a, this is a, I'll say the same thing about Hayek and Mises and all of them and people like Rothbard retarded the progress by millennia because they rejected, explicitly rejected a, a rational ethics, even though they were exposed to it, and then embraced a completely, unbelievably irrational uh, philosophy, a subjectivist morality that was completely irrational that led him to be an anarchist and all, all that. So I think Rothbard has and will have retarded progress uh, towards true liberty uh, for a long, long time. But Friedman, Hayek, Mises were more influential. And if they had embraced even some of Rand, even the framework Rand presented, the idea that you need a morality of individualism, even if they didn't agree on the details, that we would be today 30, 40 years ahead in terms of our fight for capitalism, for freedom, for liberty. Now, again, I think Friedman, good, good economic work. I, I think some of it's bad. Uh, his whole monetarist theory, um, you know, accepts the existence of a Federal Reserve. Um, he, you know, he accepts the existence of a Fed, he accepts the existence of uh, government money. I think that's a huge mistake, hugely wrong. Um, so I, you know, I, I, I think uh, I think he he made a mistake by not taking the Austrian economists more seriously. Now he changed his mind about the Federal Reserve towards the very end of his life and became a, a, a free mark free market in banking as well. But his main problem is that he didn't. C, he didn't have to be a moral philosopher. He just had to give credit where credit was due to the moral philosophers. It's the only important moral philosopher at the time, which was Ayn Rand. Uh, so, you know, while I'm a fan of some of his economic presentation, particularly his ability to take very abstract concepts and concretize them, simplify them, make them easily graspable to people. It's what I try to do but he was the master of it. Um, I, I admire him for that. I think he had real problems and, and, and did real harm in other areas. You know, uh, anyway, so that's, I, I think the Federal Reserve is a big one. And, you know, he's responsible for the negative income tax and, and uh, withholding tax, was, withholding tax is a, is a Milton Friedman idea. It increases efficiency of tax collection but it's horrible. Imagine if you had to write a check to the government every time you paid your taxes. 
maybe people would have a better better grasp on how much they pay and how bad it is. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. Using the super chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time, so I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, please take this opportunity. Go to yourownbookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com, your own book show, and, um, and, and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to, keep this, uh, to keep this going. I'm not sure when the next...